Hello folks, um, in, in my last video I uh, sh had uh, shown how you can uh, copy the data from on-premises SQL Server uh, using BCP to copy it to Azure File Share, right? But you would probably want to, you know, once you have the data on Azure, you can do a lot of things with it. So the first thing you would might want to do is try and copy this data onto Azure Blob Storage. So that is what we are going to do today. We'll copy the data from file share to Azure Blob using Azure Data Factory. So I already have this data in uh, my file share uh, and this is my storage account. So let me try and go and create an Azure Data Factory resource. Oh man, seriously. All right, so I was able to finally find Data Factory. Let me try and create this. Uh, check my resource group. I'm going to ch change my region to the region where I have my file share. So I'm going to change it to US West 2. And just give a fancy name. It should be a good one, but I'm this is for test purposes. So, DF ready twenty share to block. Okay. And just uh, you do not want to. If you do not want to have the uh, get configured now, just click on this checkbox. So it is going to skip the get configuration for now. The validation is uh, paused, so let me just create it. Mm, okay, so the deployment is in progress. I'll probably pause some of this. All right, so the deployment is complete, so let me go to the resource. Uh, so you are here to your Azure Data Factory resource. Uh, you want to click on author and monitor. Uh, once you have the screen, you want to actually go through the copy data wizard. Now you can actually go to the Azure Data Factory and you know create it from scratch, but we'll try and use the wizard so that we do not miss a step. So let's click on copy data and it kind of you know creates everything for you in a very systematic way it'll create the link services which is the connection and it'll create the data set uh, which of course is the data set and it you know overall it'll uh, create a pipeline which kind of uh, creates or uh, rather uh, consolidates everything in one so i'm going to leave the task name as it is i'm going to uh, you know, if you want to run this on a regular schedule, feel free to do that. I'm going to check the run now once option now. Press next. Here, uh, because your uh, source is Azure File Share, that is from where you want to copy the data from. So, just going to search for it, and I'm going to create a new connection. And brother, you did not have to search here. I, I don't know why I did that, but yeah, create a new connection and then search a file here. Azure file storage is your uh, source. Uh, just have a file share source. Yeah, just give it a more uh, meaningful name, something which is more, um, which follows a nomenclature for your project. Uh, I'm going to leave the auto resolve integration runtime as it is. Account key here, you've got to give your subscription and your storage account name from which you copy the data, and of course, your file share that you have on your storage account. I don't think you need to do anything else. Let's just create. So it's going to create uh, the link service, right? So as soon as that happens, you'll probably see it here. If you have already filtered it for, you know, file storage, you'll see a service here. Or you can select it and you can press on next. 
All right, I think this is the step where you create a data set. Uh, and this is the exact location from where you want to pick the data. And uh, your uh, data that you have kept, let me go to your source. Oh, I could have gone there directly, but yeah. All right, so file share. I think one of the things that you would probably have to do, let me just go and show you file share. All right, so this is where your data is. So this is the source data set, right? Uh, one of the things that I forgot to do, and before we, you know, proceed with this particular um, visit, is uh, to create a destination where you'll be, you know, uh, you'll be saving your data. Now the storage account would be the same. I'm going to store the data within blob storage and for that you would uh, need to have uh, a container. So I'm going to have to create a container, right? So I'm at my storage account, I'm at the container uh, tab and I'll create a new container, which is container blob, something of that sort and i will leave this as it is no anonymous access and um, this container is created let me see if i can probably create a folder here as well so let me just click on upload i'll probably upload a dummy file and see if i can um, create so create a folder as well so i'll go to advanced <coughs> so this is kind of a workaroundish way of creating a folder so i'll create a destination data folder right and i'll just click upload so it creates the folder and it also creates my file right uh, so I have the destination folder ready and let's go back to our uh, wizard again. So this is the source data set that we had to select. So we have selected that choose and do not have to do anything recursively is how you want to you know, have your uh, files from all the folders and subfolders within the data folder to be copied. That is what you want. So we'll click on next. Uh, here you just want to check uh, you know what kind of format you're actually going to copy because this is this is a Azure data factory So it kind of you know creates a file and then writes data within it So the text format is what you want here because your data is in CSV and here in column delimiter delimiter You would have to select comma as or your file is comma separate value Right, once you have this, uh, I think it will also check the schema. You can also have the first res header, uh, but here in this case, it has not picked the header. So I'm just going to leave it and I'll press next. Now we've got to establish a destination link service. So for that, if I create a new connection and uh, because my destination is Azure Blob Storage, so I'm going to search for Blob and create a link service there. And let's say Blob Destination or something. Uh, it's 2020. Okay, let's see if this works. I'm going to select my subscription and my storage account name. And I think that should do it. Uh, I'm going to press Create. All right, so it creates my destination and let's click next and it's not going to ask the data set the destination data set that I have to choose where it will copy the data so choose a quick on browse and then I'll choose my container and then within the container I'll choose my folder that I've created right so I've done that and I'm just going to press next all right just again double check your file formats if everything is in place just click on next all right and press next again and here it'll give you a summary of you know what uh, steps that you've taken and you know the different different um, 
selections you've made throughout the visit. So I'm going to press next and it's going to validate uh, the entire visit. And hopefully it succeeds. All right, and it'll also run the pipeline as well because uh, we have um, mentioned at the start that we'll want to run it once, right? So it has probably run the pipeline as well. So let's go to the monitor tab from here. Let's see, let's see. All right, and it says that it has succeeded. Uh, so it was a manual trigger and it kind of has succeeded. Let's see. Yeah, so your copy activity, which is uh, which was created through the wizard, so it succeeded. Let's just go to your uh, uh, container and let's just refresh and see. All right, so you can actually see the data which is there in your container. So all all of the data has been copied. Of course, some of them are zero bytes because. Uh, some of them actually did not uh, match the criteria of the modified date and some of them did not have the modified date column as well. So, so we've been able to copy the data uh, from the file share onto your container blob and you know feel free to do anything with it. All right, so this was another video uh, with a small Azure tip. I'll uh, probably create another one and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.